Check these out! The first panel, I was kind of just setting the scene. I feel like this might be one of the best faces I have ever drawn in my life. This is probably my second favorite scene. How's it going? It's your boy ZH Comic Art, and today I have a very, very cool video. Check this out. This is one of the six sample pages I created for my comic book submissions to start my comic book career. Make sure you keep watching if you want to see the other five, as well as tips, how I did it, my thought process, things like that. If you guys are here for the giveaway winner, make sure you stay till the very end because I will be announcing them in this video. My manager pretty much told me to come up with six really good thought out pages for submissions and we ended up choosing a short story for Wolverine and I kind of changed it up a little bit but then I drew it all and yeah I think you guys are gonna be super excited I've never showed anyone these drawings before however you guys might have seen a few of them in the intro but that's it I haven't showed anyone else yet so you guys are the first ones I am showing anyways if you guys are new here welcome to the family so glad you guys are joining us here today I love every single one of you guys thank you for supporting me the ZHC fam is on the daily grind posting videos every single day we do not miss a day we are getting better every day and we do not relax over here because every time we relax it's a day wasted and the ZHC fam we have a mission which is to reach our goals and every day we work we get one step closer which is why we are on the daily grind yeah I say this a lot but honestly I mean it every day we work we're getting one step closer to our goal no matter what goal it is so over here we support each other we're constantly working we don't take days off we don't relax we're gonna get to the top faster than anybody else because of how hard we work and with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the comic book pages I know you guys are excited hold on hold on before I get started, you guys know these comic book submissions are for the start of my comic book career. And I have a little story to tell you guys because I already showed these to some editors, some professional artists. And let me just give you guys a quick rundown of what happened. I'm so excited to tell you guys. There is this artist named Jimmy Rays that came across my work through YouTube. He really, really liked it. He is David Finch's inker. And you guys know David Finch is my favorite artist, the most influential artist for me. I love Jimmy Rays' work too. He told me to send over some submission pages so he sent the pages over to David and his editors as well it was really nice of him to do that he really didn't have to do that for me but it was such an honor to have a professional inker send my work over to those guys and they looked at it they loved it too so I will most likely be working with some of them in the near future also you guys know I admire David Finch so much and to have him compliment my work it was just amazing and Jimmy is actually gonna ink one of my pages and that is the video I have for tomorrow he is is gonna give you guys a full tutorial on how to ink a page and lucky for you guys it is gonna be my page so I will have that as a video up tomorrow make sure you guys are there for it I'm so excited to show you guys it looks amazing here is a quick preview of it well wow, my mind is just blown it is so good so make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow all right I'm not gonna spoil any more for you let's go First, I'm gonna tell you guys what the story is by running through really, really quick, and then I will let you guys know what each page was done like in detail. So first page, it's like two bad guys spot the little girl. The little girl is Wolverine's daughter. Oh, spoiler alert. Um, then it turns out they have a monster in the truck. They unleash it. They tell the monster to go get the girl. The girl starts running. The monster picks up a car, is about to throw it at her, and this is where Wolverine comes and saves the day from, well, for the little girl. They fight, 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 he yells. Arr. And then, he finished him off right over there with the KO move. He's killed him, and they're in disbelief. He walks down New York City streets, then his daughter, or, oh my goodness, I keep spoiling it for you guys. The little girl comes running after him. He says, no, I have to go. He leaves, and 
Here is the crime scene. Her mom comes and gets her, and she's still wondering who that guy is. Wolverine's been looking out this whole time, and he's holding something in his hand. And oh my goodness, that's his daughter? Yeah, sorry you guys, I already spoiled it for you. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole story. Here are the six sample pages. Let me tell you a little bit about it as I am showing you guys. So we'll start with the first page here. Pretty much what's happening is I wrote, or I kind of looked at a Wolverine script and I changed it up a little bit. So we have Wolverine trying to save his daughters from some evil guys. He comes, saves her, very heroic, and the shows with his daughter over here. So I'm gonna go a little bit more into detail with each of these pages and I'll talk a little bit more about them. So let's go ahead, we'll start with the first page over here. The first panel, I was kind of just setting the scene. I'll give you guys a closer look. Look at all of that. And actually I'm gonna sit down real quick because um, I don't want it to be too shaky. And I'm probably not going to cut this because I want to give you guys a close look at everything and just tell you guys a lot about what happened. So this scene was actually really hard to do because there were so many buildings and cars. And honestly, small cars are one of the hardest to draw. I had so much difficulty with them, but I managed to kind of get a decent one off. And as you can see here, the story is kind of moving along. You got the truck. We'll show. Here are two of the bad guys. As you can see, he's driving the car. And I actually designed his mask over there, which I think looks pretty cool. All right, we're moving on. And now here's a larger scene where you can see Wolverine's daughter over here. And then there's like some up close shot of the villain's face. And over here, it's like, a really busy New York scene and honestly most of these the setting is New York because that's where I live and I love the buildings over there so here's another look at the first page and one tip for submission pages is you want to get your point across really really fast in just six pages so you really want to make it short and just like action-packed you want to get all the emotions in and yeah, there's the first page. Let's go on to the second page, right there. All right. So as you can see, another panel for the settings. There's the monster. I, I kind of wanted to make him like a Hulk-like monster, so he's really, really buff. And to be honest, even though people loved it, it's not perfect at all. So yours doesn't have to be perfect either. It doesn't even have to look like this. But this is kind of just what you want to show. It should be a sample of your best work that you have so far. And if they like it, you might get the job. Uh, let's continue going. There's some perspective. And one tip, you really want to change up perspective. So as you can see, it's like a one point perspective here. You're looking from way back here. Then there's an up shot and there's like a down-ish shot. So there's a closer look at the monster. Oh, and this is one of my favorite scenes where I have the entire city over here. Then we have the monster right here. We have a closer look at the villains. Yeah. And I did a lot of detail in the back. And honestly, these submission pages, they should take a long time because you are trying to show off your best work and you want to show your absolute best. So make sure you take your time with it. Oh, there's some guy taking pictures in the back. And sorry my camera is so shaky, I wish I had those expensive non-shake things, but I'm a broke art- No, no, I'm just kidding you guys. Uh, my hand will have to do for now. But there's a closer look at the monster I designed him myself. And honestly, I think he looks pretty cool. There's a close look at his face. I kind of designed it so that there's like a skull or bones wrapped around his mouth. And here's like a far bird's eye view shot. Which makes it kind of interesting, and then here's a really cool scene where it's just split. There's a lot of action lines, you can see expression over there, and she trips on a rock. So I'll show you guys this entire page one more time. 
All right. On to the third page. Here we have him holding up a car. And for submission pages, my manager actually gave me a checklist. Let me tell you guys the checklist right now. So I needed to have like strong figures over here. I needed to have vehicles. I needed buildings, perspective, uh, women, monsters, machinery, males, all of that. So let me just keep showing you guys. He's holding up a car, so that's kind of a cool angle. He's casting a huge shadow around her. So this scene was kind of fun to draw. Although, usually I would shadow in everything that's in the cast shadow, but in this case, the girl would have been hidden, so I decided not to put that in. Over here. Okay, this is kind of a cheat, or yeah, just a small shortcut. If I don't feel like drawing something, I just black everything in and put it as a silhouette. And here is a major action shot. Wow, look at Wolverine just slashing into his face. This guy stands no chance at all. He's like, help me guys, help me. And Wolver Wolverine's just like, nah, that's my daughter, dude. Yeah, look at that. Oh no, but he comes back, he smashes Wolverine. This was actually a fun scene to draw because it's like very, very small action stuff, but yeah, because it's in like a small panel and then he throws Wolverine. The action lines actually make a huge difference. I tried to put in a lot of action lines. There's like sprays of blood that makes it look really, really dynamic because I wanted this page to be moving since the last two were very uh, still. As you can see, you guys get one more look at this page. All right, moving on to the fourth page. This is probably my second favorite scene from the whole sample pages. I'll just give you guys a moment so you can admire the artwork. No, I'm just kidding, guys. There are a lot of mistakes, but I thought it looked pretty nice in general. And I drew this about a couple months ago, so I can notice a lot of mistakes right now that I probably didn't notice earlier. But it still was my best work, and I was quite happy with it. Wow, look at that face. Fierce. Okay. And as you guys know, a lot of action lines because, I don't know, makes it look a lot more dynamic. Here's him stepping on the monster. They are in utter disbelief. They don't know what happened. Yeah, Wolverine just crushed that guy. And he's standing in the city now, looking like an absolute beast. And this scene was actually really hard to draw. And I'll let you guys know right now that this is slightly out of um, scale. He's a little bit too tall. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but yeah. So here's the page again. Honestly, yeah, this page has a lot of detail. Let me just show you guys close up. Look at that pencil work. These pages all took me a long time, and I kind of risked it a little bit over here by doing a crazy uh, double light source thing, but yeah, it kind of paid off. Oh, although I didn't put enough stubble on his face, and as you can see his arm, uh, his arm is kind of hairy because, you know, he's Wolverine. Love that cross hatching. If you want a crosshatch like this, by the way, you guys, I left the link in the description down below. There's a crosshatching video I did talking all about this. I think you guys will love it, so make sure you guys check it out. All right, moving on to the next page. This is actually the page that Jimmy will be inking. Yes, look at that. There's, there's actually some stuff I can say about this page. So we have a big Wolverine figure. I wanted him to take up most of the page. As you can see, he's like breaking up the panels over here. And he's in New York City, so I made it quite obvious. NYPD. That stands for the No You, um, I don't even know. New York Police Department, that's right. Uh, now I remember. Right, look at that face. Yep. So, you have that right there. The little girl's running after him. Poor little girl. 
Um, and then she stands over here. Oh, I love this face. I feel like this might be one of the best faces I have ever drawn in my life, especially with the... Uh, oh my goodness, I don't even know what it's called anymore. The, the, the... Rim light, rim light. Yes, I know what it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I swear I'm an artist. But there you go, guys. I used my face as a reference with the rim light because I wanted to make it look fairly realistic instead of just cartoony. And they're walking off into the distance. Wow. This is like some cinematic shot. But yeah, he's like really big on this page. He takes up most of it. And now we are on to our final page. This might have been one of the toughest pages to draw especially since I had to draw a whole crime scene. As you can see, everything's to scale over here. The scale was so hard to make, but you can see all the tiny little details, all the cash shadow, and a lot of cars, honestly. <laughs> over here, okay. I wish I put in more of a background over here, but it is what it is. It's sent in already and they like it. So, yeah. Here's a close up of the mom and the daughter. Here's the daughter. I feel like this panel is kind of lacking compared to the others, especially with no background. Um, yeah, I don't know. If I did it again, I would probably fix that part. Wolverine is overlooking the city. Really cool scene. I love the lighting on this. He's just like holding up that chain and he's overlooking the city. And there we go. As you can see, it says, my loving daughter which shows the editors that um, that's actually his daughter and it gives them more of an emotional connection. So there it is, you guys. Those were my sample pages. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. This video shout out goes to 99% Gaming. If you want to win a shout out too, all you have to do is join the notification squad by subscribing, turning on post notifications, and letting me know down in the comments when you're done. And the moment you guys have all been waiting for the winner of the original art giveaway where I drew Kratos. Drum roll, please. The winner of the giveaway is Katrina Belling. Congratulations, you just won yourself some art. Make sure you email me so I can get the original art to you. Thank you so much for everyone who joined. I will have more giveaways very, very soon. I'm so sorry, I wish I could give one to every single one of you guys for supporting me. I love you guys so much. Thanks for joining me on the daily grind. Honestly, I just gotta say, I started making these videos because a lot of people were motivated by them. So I wanted to motivate you guys by posting every single day. And honestly, all the support you guys have been giving me it's been motivating me to post more and then in return I motivate you guys more and you guys motivate me more and it's just a good cycle You guys know what I mean. I'm so grateful to have every single one of you guys here right now part of the ZHC fam I just want to say once again, thank you and I will have more coming up and I think that's about it I'm gonna go now make sure you guys are here for tomorrow's video where Jimmy makes his debut on my channel He's gonna ink my work and you guys will get to see it. I will see you guys next time We are posting every single day on the daily grind and as always keep those pencils moving. See you guys next time. Bye